Even if you try, you wouldn't understand it Maybe something's missing inside of you Just a bit of sugar to that heart bitter Maybe you taste different Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you while you're going on about your simple life Nothing left you think Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Justine and today's video we are tackling a bunch of messes. I'm even going to be showing you guys how I style my hair with a new hair product. I cannot wait to share it with you guys because I have been looking for a new one for a while and I'm so glad that this brand reached out to me. Tenski, thank you so much for sponsoring today's video and sending me this awesome hair dryer. I hope that everyone will stick around and watch up until that point or to the very end because you already know that I appreciate every single time one of you guys watch my whole video because I know that these are a little bit longer and I know with TikTok we've been spoiled with immediate gratification <laughs> um, but I definitely like my longer videos. I still watch YouTube. I watch my favorites over here like Jamie's Journey, Ashley Phelps, Typically Katie, and so many more. I just love that cleaning motivation. I love giving you guys cleaning motivation. I hope Sorry about that. My son decided to come in and he needed mom to find a game on his tablet. <laughs> anyway, I hope that you guys are going to kick back and relax or even clean along with me. We're going to be tackling a lot of messes in my house today, getting a lot of things done, a lot of things done throughout today's video. And I hope that you will hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell. And let's just jump right into today's video. That maybe you're not different. It never hit you Our conversation takes to Paying it some interest From time to time Inside all that greatness And all of your adventures You're all alone Hold up, hold up, baby I can sit beside you While you're going on About your simple Nothing left you thinking that maybe you're not different I finally found the stainless steel cleaner that I've been looking for because I always use the spray away glass cleaner and everyone's like, oh, there's a stainless steel cleaner, but I could never find it. I did end up finding it at Maynard's down the road and it's pretty much like Lowe's or Home Depot, but I don't know who all has them. I know Kentucky has them. <laughs> That's about it. But I love this stuff. I feel like it did a really good job. Again, my dishwasher is still an issue, but I know Jamie's Journey uses baby oil and I might have to try that because I think it's just the type of stainless steel that they use for the dishwasher because it worked on everything else. And it's weird because it's all GE appliances. So you would think they have the same stainless steel, but I just, I feel like the, the dishwasher isn't a real like stainless steel. I feel like it's, I don't know. I, I felt like it's plastic. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just so like weird feeling. I don't know. Destiny. 
gonna keep it low now If you wanna go, let's go Let's wrap it up and hit the road I just got an awesome vibe Striking the wind of hopes now Maybe these on my mind We've taken off, we've left the ground You You gotta understand That we get one chance, one chance You You will never regret The things that we'll do Cause I something different than I normally would on my channel but I just needed to get done and I know it can motivate some of you guys to get ready for your day just like I like getting ready for my day so that I feel like I just feel better prepared for the day and motivated to get other things done in my house like cleaning so today we are actually going to jump in the shower and wash my hair and style my hair today I might do makeup but let's be real I don't wear makeup every day I used to be really into it but I just had kids and just life happens and I am on a break from my work so I have to hurry up and shower and get ready. But I do wanna give a huge shout out to Tenski for sponsoring today's video and sending me a hair dryer to show y'all. I'm super excited about it. It is the Sky Ionic Hair Blow Dryer and I'm gonna actually grab it right here, it's next to me. It is on Amazon for those of you wondering but it reminds me of a Dyson dupe, you know, the brand new Dyson that everyone wanted. It doesn't have the attachments or anything, but it's really cute and sleek and I wanna show it to you guys. However, I did not realize it was saran wrapped because that's just awesome packaging, but I just feel like even the packaging is gorgeous. It just looks like they really care about their products. So I'm gonna open this for you guys and show it to you guys up close and personal while I'm unboxing it and then we are going to shower. Let me open it. Really quickly, I know I showed this to you guys but I wanted to show you this side of it really quick. I don't know if you can see it up close because of the shimmering of it. But it does have an LED smart display as well as high speed motor. It's supposed to have 110,000 RPM, which is supposed to be great. I'm gonna test that out for you because I do have thick, thick hair and long hair. So I wanna see how long it takes for me to blow dry my hair. I might even time it for you guys just so I could show you how well it does. If I don't, I'll just tell you at the end what I did. And then the temperature detection system, 100 times per second, it detects how hot it's getting and then unrivaled airspeed too as well. I just wanted to point that out. It is the Sky S200 model right here and I'm gonna show you guys what it comes like. I am obsessed. It does only have two colors. I think it was gray and pink, I believe. I'll have to look again on Amazon, but I will have it linked down below for you guys. Comes with a little manual for the Tenski hair dryer. It has a little storage bag and it is super soft. So I feel like this will really protect your blow dryer from scratching or if you travel a lot like I do, this is gonna come a lot in handy. And then it has little pieces, little pieces for attachments, like a little diffuser, super cute. But I'm so excited because this is so sleek. It's the perfect size. I feel like it's, it's not too bulky. You can really get in there and get your hair blow dried. But I'm gonna stop talking about the product. I might add a little bit more later after we blow dry or while I'm blow drying my hair once I try it. But I'm gonna go jump in the shower and then we will start blow drying my hair. One chance, one chance, you, you will never regret the things that we'll do. Cause I
less than 15 minutes and that's saying a lot because I have a lot of hair and yes I do have extensions in two wefts in my hair to give myself some volume because my hair is almost the exact same length as my extensions but I just like the volume that it gives especially when I'm curling so I just really wanted to jump on here because I was just gonna say it in the, like, the voiceover when I did this video but I'm very impressed because none of my blow dryers I haven't tried the Dyson per se but I know that in the salon that I go to it very rarely takes 15 minutes it's like 30 minutes to do my hair at the salon but this blow dryer took 15 minutes and I'm just so happy with it so I definitely think it's worth your money if you're looking for a hair dryer that's sleek and easy to travel with go check out this one I will have it linked down in my description now I'm either going to curl my hair or I'm going to leave it straight. I'm not completely sure yet. And then I'm going to tackle my bedroom. I really quickly wanted to show you this Gryffindor brush because you already know I'm a big Hogwarts Harry Potter fan. You know this. Gryffindor all the way, but I got it from Ulta. It was super cute and super affordable. If you're looking for a good wet brush, I I just love this brush. Anyway, I wanted to show you guys how I curl my hair because I do get a lot of questions, what products I use. I do do TikToks with this kind of stuff, but some of you don't watch TikTok. So I just wanted to show you on here. I love the Moroccan oil products. They are my number one choice. I absolutely love them. They are a little bit more pricey, just be aware, but my hair growth has been amazing since starting it. And I do use all of these products every time I wash my hair, but I do only wash my hair probably once a week. I know some people might think that's gross, especially if you don't hair train, but my hair, it just doesn't get dirty like everyone else's. And then I do use dry shampoo on like the second or third day to keep my hair from getting oily. That's the only reason why I can do it, but hair training is the best way to go. And I just love not having to style my hair more than once a week because it can get crazy and it takes a lot of time to do. I did speed it up for you guys, but I just wanted to show all of you that have been asking how I do it. Fun fact, not really fun for me, but just a little bit of a fact. Um, our bed, when we redid our master bedroom makeover a few videos ago, I will have that linked above if you have not seen it, but my two boys were jumping on our bed like little monkeys that they are and they broke the corner which it was already broke from the move and then it broke when me and my husband were on it one day it was like I sat on the corner and it just broke yes I know <laughs> you think about it it's like really but it just got me thinking like Ashley furniture like this bed is only two years old and it's already breaking and I've gotten a lot of furniture from Ashley over the years and I can tell you their quality just is not it I'm always having to repurchase something or they scratch easily or just something goes wrong. So I definitely won't be purchasing from, purchasing from Ashley Furniture anymore. I just don't think it's worth it. But I do need to actually buy a new bed frame because I just have to. It's broken. You can't even fix it. We've tried everything. He, they literally split it. It's so bad. The rail is broken, broken. Uh, we actually have it nailed to keep it in place right now. But eventually we're going to have to toss this bed and that's all right I'm excited for the new one but they're just not cheap and so I keep putting it off and off because I just don't want to spend the money I know what you've been down thinking about him again I know that your heart's been broken you should try and let it go and start being yourself you You should go work that body. Whoa, oh, oh. You should go work that body. 
you don't need to be ashamed Everyone's got their hearts broken sometime Let's go out and lose our minds, forget all about him You, you You can put on your dress, dance into your favorite song Everybody will sing along, sing along, sing along So put your hands up I do like to wash my bedding probably every week just because we have white bedding and dogs and kids and I also self tan so I feel like the sheets can just get really dirty looking and gross and I just love the smell and the feeling of fresh sheets after you wash them on your bed when you're ready to go to sleep the hardest thing for me though is always remembering to put them back on before it's time for bed because nothing is worse when you go in to lay down for bed after a long day and you can't because you still have to make the bed that's just <laughs> reality for me. I don't know. I thought it was funny because one of my coworkers actually brought up that I should show you guys like how unorganized I actually am in different aspects of life. Like, yes, I'm organized with my home. I'm organized with work. I actually, one of my highs this week is actually that I'm going to be mentoring a new trainee coming into our like team. And I'm excited because it's the next step up into team lead or supervisor in the future for myself. I have my bachelor's degree for that reason, and I would love to progress in my career. And I'm super excited for this opportunity. So that's definitely a high this week. I know I'm off a little bit on track, but my low, I would have to say, hmm, my husband has been working so much that that's definitely my low he has been super busy and not getting home until super late because of a class he's in and it's been really hard on just getting in a routine with the kids and the kids baseball schedule i feel like i don't know which way i'm going but i figured i would do my highs and lows now sorry guys i'm all over the place but i guess my coworker brought up that i should show you guys like the funny side of it like how I normally talk day to day in my meetings and like on TikTok, like I really should show you guys that side because we were talking about planning vacations and I am the least like organized person when it comes to vacations. I am a last minute planner. I do not want to plan anything. <laughs> it's been, it's been crazy uh, <laughs> to say the least. I, I just am not organized like that. And when it comes to the kids' sports and like having snacks and the PTA moms and school stuff for the kids, I am the most unorganized person in the world. Um, I don't even know where to begin with that. I am just kind of like fly by the seat of my pants when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like we're always running late to events like for the kids and just... Oh, I feel like I'm always pulling teeth to get the kids in the car to go to these events. I'm always like, oh, we need all the drinks and running around like a like a crazy lady. It's just the reality of my life. But when it comes to cleaning and my home, I don't know what it is. It's just relaxing to me. Planning things like vacations is not relaxing to me. Like, and let me know down in the comments if you understand what I'm saying or if I'm just making myself look like an idiot. Let me know. For those of you wondering what the heck is going on, this is my Shark Apex Uplight Vacuum. I used it upstairs. However, a few videos back, it just stopped working. And I didn't know if it was the motor or if it just needed a good cleaning. So I'm starting with a good cleaning before I toss it because I just don't want to get rid of it. I love this vacuum. I'm so upset that they discontinued this vacuum. But we're just going to try to get it to work as best as we can. And I will let you know if, if it works or not. You.
I didn't film it, but I did try out the vacuum after putting it back together and it does work again. So I'm very thankful that that is working now and we are good to go because this vacuum wasn't really expensive, but it was a good investment. And I just love this vacuum. My husband got it for me for Christmas one year. Yes, I love Christmas. <laughs> I love getting cleaning products for Christmas. I don't know. I'm weird, I guess. <laughs> but yes, the vacuum does work. So I'll be using it in upcoming videos. I just want to hold you. I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you You know you make me feel so alive Can't stop thinking about you day and night Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch Every time I'm down here you make me smile You're the solution After finally getting that disgusting runner clean, which feels so much better, we're going to tackle the rest of the downstairs. I just wanted to vacuum really quick in the dining room and then go into the living room and pick up really quick and then vacuum in there as well. I feel like with dogs, you really have to keep up with the dog hair and we have a black dog. So the hair on this lighter flooring, you can see it everywhere. So I do have to vacuum probably once a day. I do try to use my robot vacuum because to be honest, I don't always have the time to vacuum once a day, but having a nice vacuum that you like to using, I feel like that's a big plus to getting what you need done to motivate you to use it. But that will bring us to the end of today's video. I appreciate you guys so much for watching until the end. I hope that you will check out the Tensky hair dryer. I know some of us need hair dryers and just kind of put it off, but I feel like it was worth the money for this blow, hair blow dryer because like I said, it only took 15 minutes and my hair was completely dry. And that's crazy to me. And it didn't overheat. I didn't feel like my, my hair was on fire because I know with some blow dryers, you can feel like it's burning your scalp. This one, I did not feel that way. It's really sleek and easy to travel with as well. If you're looking for something to travel with, but anyway, I appreciate you guys so much and I'll see you guys back next time.